Hello students, welcome to MacTab. I am Ayush and here I am again with you with the next lecture of, our, of the series of number system. I hope you have completed all the previous lectures. If not, I advise you to first complete the pre previous lectures and then come to this one so that uh, you can understand each and every question clearly. Let's start our next lecture of this series of number system uh, that is practice question based on concepts. In this lecture, we will do some more conceptual questions. Let's start with our first question. First question for today is the number of sheets of paper available for making a notebook is 75,000. Okay. Each sheet makes eight pages. Okay. Each sheet makes eight pages of a notebook. Each notebook contains 200 pages. How many notebooks can be made from the paper available? Okay, so how we will start? First, tell me number of sheets available. Number of sheets, paper sheets, paper sheets available are 75,000. In each sheet, each sheet makes eight pages right and each notebook notebook contains 200 pages right this is the information given to us so what we'll do first we have number of sheets here and one sheet make eight pages so let's find first find out how many number of pages we will have one sheet is equals to eight pages right 75,000 sheets will make 75,000 into 8 pages right just multiply 75,000 uh, with 8 how will do that 75,000 into 8 yeah how we will multiply 8 multiply with 0 0 8 multiply with 0 again 0 again 8 multiply with 0 0 then 8 multiply with 5 8 8 into 5 is 40 so 0 here and a carry 4 here then 8 into 7 8 into 7 is 56 plus 4 56 plus 4 so it is 60 so now we have 6 lakh pages these are 6 lakh pages right pages now we have a number of pages it is 6 lakh one book contains one book contains 200 pages right then how many book we can make with six leg pages what we will do one book contain to 200 pages right so to uh, make how much uh, let's say 6 lakh pages 200 pages into dash number of books right that means some books having 200 pages can be made from 6 lakh pages right so now to find the number of pages number of books what we'll do we'll just divide 6 lakh by 2 if we divide 6 lakh with 200 what we will get first we we can cut these two zeros with two zeros here now we are left with 6000 only right 
now 6000 divided by 2 is 2 into 3 6 and 0 0 0 that means 3000 so we can say that 3000 books can be made from 6 lakh pages got it now i i want to do a shorter calculation i want you guys to know this also okay first we have 70 to 75000 sheets and one sheet makes eight pages right sheet one sheet make eight uh, eight pages so 75000 sheets will make 75 into 1000 that is 8 multiply with 0 if you write if you want to write it like this you can write it like this also 8 in, multiply with 0 0 then 0 then 0 8 into 5 again 0 and 4 carry 8 into 7 56 plus 4 60 that means 6 lakh pages right now one book contains one book contains 200 pages so how many books can be made from 6 lakh pages what we will do we'll just six we'll just divide 6 lakh by 200 to make number of books right these are number of pages here again these are number of pages here and to find the number of books we will just divide it so we can cut two zero here and if these are zeros here then we can directly cut it from here two into three is six so it can directly give us the answer three thousand books i hope you like this method this is uh, this is not uh, not a different method but just how we can reduce our calculation okay let's come to next question here Shekhar is a famous cricket player okay he has so far scored 6980 runs okay 6980 runs in test matches he wishes he wishes to complete 10000 runs how many more runs does he need it's a simple question right so what we'll do we'll just subtract 6000 980 from 1000 right why because if i have 7 rupees and i want rupees 10 so how much more money do i need i need 3 right how how i got 3 10 minus 7 is equals to 3 so same concept here subtract it if i want you to do it you guys to do it okay just pause the video and try i hope you have done it right so zero here then we'll borrow one from here if i borrow one from here this one this one i'll borrow here then again borrow here and then again here so what will i get if it is 10 here now I'll borrow it here now it becomes 10 here then I borrow one here it becomes 10 here that means here it is left 9 now because I borrowed one here and now here also 9 and here it is 0 because it was one only right let me do it clearly for you here if I borrow one from here it will become 10 here then again I borrow one from this 10 now now here 10 now i borrow again one from here then now it has become 10 here because one and zero 10 so the last time i borrow borrowed one from here it it must have become nine by now and this also nine because i have borrowed one here then here so we can directly say that now we are left with this nine nine then 10 a 0 right this is what we are left these are 
just different numbers. So 10, uh, 8 subtracted from 10, 2. Then I have left with 9 here only. Remember? Yeah. So 9 subtracted from 9, 0. And then 9, 6 subtracted from 9, 3. And here we are left with 0 because we have borrowed this one. So the answer is 3, 0, 2, 0, more runs are required to complete 10,000 runs, 10,000 runs. I hope this is clear now. Right, next, move, let's move to our next question. Kirti Bookstore sold books worth rupees 2,85,891. Okay, write it here. First, 2, 2,85,891. In the first week of June. Okay, it is first week. Right? And books worth rupees four lakh seven hundred sixty-eight in the second week of the month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together? In which week was the sale greater and by how much? Okay. First, they want to know uh, which week was the uh, in which week. The sale was greater so here it is 4 lakh here it is 2 lakh only so in second week in second week the sale is greater the sale is greater right now they want to know by how much how much more books were sold in second week than first week so what we have to do, we'll subtract so first week's book from second. This is second week's and we'll subtract first week's books, right? I want you guys to do this subtraction. Pause the video and try to subtract. I hope you, you all have done this. Let's match your answer. 8 minus 1, 7, 6 minus 9, 6 is smaller than 9, so we will borrow 1 from here. Now it is 16 here and 16 uh, minus 9 is 7 again. Then here we are left with 6 only because we have borrowed 1, right? So here we are, we are left with 6 only. Now I will borrow 1 from here. It became 10 here. Then I will borrow one from here now it became nine and this became ten then again i borrow one from here and it became 16 here and it became nine here because i borrowed one so 16 minus eight eight then nine minus five four nine minus eight one and here we left with three only because we have borrowed one right remember so here we are left with 3, 3 minus 2, 1. So these are the number of books, books that are sold more, right? This, uh, this is the number of books. That means in first week, uh, the bookstore sold 285,891. Then in second week, uh, the bookstore sold 114,877 more books than first week, right? Now, what else we have to find? How much was the sale for the two weeks together? Now, they want you to calculate the sale of two weeks together so we'll just add this right two five eight 
0.2291. We'll add first week sale and then second week sale, right? Sale. So second week sale is of 4,768 books, right? Now add it. Do this on your own. Do the addition. I hope you have done it right. Let me do it for you now. 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 6, 15. 5 here, 1 carry here. 8 plus 1, 9 plus 7, 16. 1 here, 1 carry here. 5 plus 1, 6. Then 8 plus 0, 8 only. And then 4 plus 2, 6. That means the bookstore sold 6,86,659 books in two weeks. Right? I hope uh, you got this question. Let's move to our next question. Find the difference between the greatest and the least five digit number that can be written using digits 6, 2, 7, four three each only once okay that means we cannot repeat the numbers let's say if i have uh, write six seven four three then again i cannot write four because i have used four here got it we cannot use two uh, two digits uh, repetitively so just first uh, first tell me Till which place the digit will go because uh, these are five digits now see five digits one two three four five so once tens hundred thousand ten thousand right remember so now at the ten thousands place to me first uh, actually what the question is asking that first make largest digit, uh, largest number from these digit and then make smallest number of with these digits and then subtract them subtract them okay so first made the greatest number here uh, let me write it here greatest number and here smallest number smallest number how will uh, make greatest number to make greatest number, we will start with largest number first from here. That means at the thousands place, ten thousands place, I will write the largest largest digit. So largest among these five digits is 7. Then second largest is 6. Then third largest 4. then again largest among these two these two are left now we have used seven we have used six we have used four we have used three now we are left with two only so this is the greatest number that we can made from these given five digits now let's make smallest number for smallest number we will write the number from the smallest and gradually Till the greatest number okay first smallest number three uh, sorry not three here it is two first two right among these two is the smallest this two is the smallest then three then four then three then four then six and then seven then six and then seven that means the smallest number that can be made from these five digits is 23,467 and the greatest number is 76,432. Now the question wants us to subtract these two numbers. Subtract this the smallest number from the greatest number. So how will we go? How we will uh, subtract this? Let's write it here first. 4, 6, 7. Right? No. Minus. So 2 minus 7, not possible. We will borrow 1 from here. So now 
it became wait a second let me change the color of the pen so that you can understand it very easily i will borrow one from here right so now it became 12 12 minus 5 uh, 12 minus 7 5 then here it is left 2 because we have borrowed 1 then 2 minus 6 not possible so we'll borrow 1 again now it became 12 here right so 12 minus 6 6 as we have borrowed 1 from uh, from here it became 3 3 minus 4 not possible we'll borrow 1 again now it became 13 13 minus 4 13 minus 4 is 9 we are left with 5 here because we have borrowed 1 so 5 minus 3 2 and then 7 minus 2 5 so this is our answer the if we subtract the smallest number from the greatest number that can be made from these given digits the answer will be 52,000 52,965 is the answer I hope you got it let's move to our next question a machine on an average manufactures 225 screws a day okay one in one day 2825 screws right how many screws did it produce in the month of January 2006 okay in the month of January there are 31 days right in January we have 31 then in Feb we have 28 and in leap year we have 29 that means after every four year then in March again 31 then April 30 May 31 June 30 and so on right so in January we have 31 days so in one day two two hundred two thousand eight hundred and twenty five screws can be produced so in 31 days how many screws can be made 2825 into 31 right let's do the multiplication now 2825 multiplied with 31 first multiply 1 with 5 5 then 1 with 2 2 1 with 8 8 1 with 2 2 right if you multiply any number with 1 the same number will come let's say if, we, if i multiply one with three i'll get three only right now put across here this is four zero then three three into five fifteen five here one carry here three into one not carry here three into five fifteen one remaining three into two six plus one 7 3 into 8 8 into 3 is 24 4 here 2 extra 3 into 2 6 plus this extra 2 that means 8 so now add it 5 2 plus 5 7 8 plus 7 15 5 here 1 carry 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 and then 8 right so in 31 days 87,575 screws can be produced right it, it is a simple question in one day 200 and 2825 20, screws in 31 days 2825 into 31 that means 87575 screws i hope you got the question 
if you if you are facing any problem just rewind the video and do the uh, do the calculations on your own you won't uh, face any problem if you are facing any problem rewind the video and watch it again and you will for sure get it now come to next question a merchant had rupees it's a amount 78592 with her okay 78592 with her she placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets okay 40 radio sets at 1200 each the price of one radio is 1200 each right so how much money will remain with her after the purchase so what basically question is asking first find the price of 40 radio sets then after paying the price how much money will be left with the merchant so for this first for that first we will find out the rate uh, price of price for 40 radio sets for one radio set 1200 For forty radio sets, it is twelve hundred into forty. So, if we multiply twelve hundred into forty, what we will get? Zero. If we multiply four digits with zero, we'll get four zeros. Then with four, four multiplied with zero, zero again. Then four multiplied with zero, zero again. Then four multiplied with two. 4 into 2 is 8, and then 4 multiplied into 1 is 4. So to, now add this, it will it become 48,000. That means merchant has to pay 48,000 for 40 radio sets, right? So how much amount will be left with the merchant? Just subtract the total amount with the amount paid for radio sets, right? That's how we'll get the remaining. So two zero two minus zero two nine minus zero nine five minus zero five eight minus eight zero seven minus four three. That means merchant will left with this amount thirty thousand five hundred and ninety two. This is the remaining amount. Remaining amount. Get it? Let's move to the next question. A student multiplied seven two three six by sixty five instead of multiplying by fifty six. Okay, by how much? His answer greater than the correct answer. Okay, to understand this question, let me first tell you one thing. If I tell you to multiply ten with five, what will be the answer? Fifty. But if I if I told you to multiply it with five, but by mistake you multiplied it it with seven, the answer will be. Seventy. The increase is of twenty. If I subtract seventy or uh, fifty from seventy, we'll get twenty. That means, just tell me seventy minus fifty as equals to twenty, right? And seven minus five as equals to two. That means, if I just subtract these this number, the number which we have multiplied by mistake. From the number that we intended to uh, multiply, right? So seven minus five is two. Again, if now I multiply this, this is the mistake because I want you to multiply it with five and you multiplied it it with seven. So you multiplied by two more, right? So this is the mistake too. So if you multiply two into ten, you will get the same number as you will get if you just multiply uh, if you just subtract seventy from fifty. That means final answer. 
uh, let me tell it again okay here if i tell you multiply a number with three and uh, you will get 10 multiplied with 3 is 30 but i told you to multiply it with 3 but you multiplied it with 5 by mistake right so you got your answer 50 so by how much your answer is incorrect by how much your answer is incorrect the correct answer is 30 you got 50 your answer is how much how much more than the correct answer what will you do you just subtract and if you subtract 30 from 50 you will get 20 so your answer is 20 more here what i want to tell you i want you to multiply it with 3 you multiplied it with 2 with 5 you multiplied it with 2 more number if i uh, add 2 into 2 with 3 we will get 5 right so that means you multiplied with a number that is two times uh, that is two more right three plus two is five two more this is two more so if you want to know this this 20 how much your number is exceeding you can directly just multiply the number with this two it will give the answer 20 because here the number is increased because of the difference between these two numbers the difference is of 2 that's why there is a difference of 20 now got my point now we will use this concept here okay here the questions say that a person a student wants to multiply a number with 56 but by mistake he multiplied it with 65 so how much more how much more the student multiplied this number so 65 minus 56 is 9 so student multiplied with 9 more so how by how much uh, read it here by how much was his answer greater than the correct answer his answer will be greater than the correct answer because of this extra nine right because of this extra nine he should multiply the number with this 56 but he multiplied with 65 there is nine extra so because of this extra the answer will be greater than the correct answer right so if you want to know how much the answer is greater we will just multiply 7, 2, 3, 6 with 9 only because because of this we will get the greater number. So this is the difference between this and this. If I multiply in this number with 56 and if I multiply this number with 65 there, is, there will be a difference of 9 into multiplied with this number that is this. So we will just find out 7236 multiplied with 9 how will you multiply 7 2 3 6 into 9 okay do this multiplication on your own pause the video and do do it i hope you have done the calculation uh, let me do it for you now 9 multiply with 6 it is 54 4 here 5 extra now 9 into 3 it is 27 27 here plus extra this 5 so 27 plus 5 27 plus 5 32 right so 2 here and 3 extra now right now 9 into 2 it is 18 plus this extra 3 that means 21 here i'll write 1 and now still we we are left with 2 extra then 9 into 7 9 into 7 is 63 63 plus this remaining 2 we'll get 65 right so we'll write here 65 so the answer is 65124 that means the uh, the wrong answer the answer which the student uh, 
calculated by mistake will be 65,124 time uh, to, uh, 124 greater than the correct answer got it that means if uh, I subtract this number from the uh, wrong answer then we will get the correct answer I hope you get this if you are having any problem just rewind the video and watch this question again and you will for sure get it let's move to next question to stitch a shirt 2 meter 15 centimeter cloth is needed out of 40 meter cloth how many shirts can be stitched how much cloth will remain okay that means one shirt can be stitched from 2 meter 15 centimeter right 15 2 meter 15 centimeter and total we have 40 meter clone so here the, the uh, uh, cloth required for one shirt is 2 meter 15 centimeter let's first convert this into centimeter only because here it is in centimeter now and it is in meter so first convert this into centimeter as i have told you i have told this to you earlier that one meter is equals to 100 centimeter so this 2 meter will become 2 into 100 that is 200 centimeter plus this 15 centimeter that means 215 centimeter one shirt can be stitched with 215 centimeter of cloth total we have 40 meter of cloth so just convert this into centimeter okay how will convert 40 into 100 because 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter so 40 into 100 4000 centimeter got it now how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain that means we will divide this whole cloth from uh, the cloth required for one shirt so how we'll do that we'll just uh, divide 2 1 5 here we'll divide 4000 right so this is the divisor this is the dividend and there here we'll write quotient quotient okay so if i multiply 2 1 5 into 2 it will become 430 that means greater than 400 so first we'll multiply it with 1 only that means 2 1 5 and we are left with just subtract 2 1 5 from 400 what we will get tell me what we will get we will get 185 i want you to do this calculation and find this 185 okay that how I find it 400 sub minus 215 see 9 here 1 here 5 8 and here it became 3 3 minus 1 2 185 right now as 185 is smaller than 215 we will carry the 0 here now I want to multiply 215 with a number that can that can be near to this number so what i'll do is i'll check how just 2 into 9 is 18 right first check this 2 from this 2 2 into 9 is 18 that means it would be near to 9 but if i multiply it with 9 it will exceed this number because of this 15 that means will multiply it with 8 just check it for 8 8 into 5 
40, 0 here, 4 here, 8 into 1, 8 plus 4, 12, 2 here and 1 here. Then 8 into 2, 16 plus 1, 17. That means 18. Four, uh, if I multiply 215 with 8, then I'll get 1720. Now tell me what is the remainder? That means that a uh, number uh, remain here. So we will just uh, subtract this 720 from 1850. So here we will get 0, 5, then 8 minus 7, 1, then 1 minus 1, 0. That means this is remainder. Remainder. Right. So this is the clothe left and this 18 is number of shirts that can be stitched right that means let me write it here If the question asked how many shirts can be stitched 18 18 shirts from here 18 shirts and how much cloth will remain this 130 centimeter because we have converted meter into centimeter cloth will remain got it I hope you got this question. So that's all for today from my side. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and you got each and every question. If you are facing any difficulty, just rewind the video and do watch it again and for sure you will get it. Uh, practice the question one or, uh, once or twice and you will uh, you'll get it very easily. So thank you. I will see you in the next lecture where we will start the estimation of numbers. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. See you.